No. Welcome to Melbourne and specifically to Melbourne Parish Church. What we have here is a joint project between the church and Melbourne Area Transition in which we put a 10 kilowatt solar PV array on the church roofs. And this has been quite an interesting project from a number of perspectives, not least the fact that there was a lot of potential opposition to what was seen as something that could ruin a classic view of one of the finest churches in England. The attraction of this building is that it has large south-facing roofs and we felt that uh, putting something on a building like this was saying something very significant about all institutions, organisations and communities getting involved in doing practical things to mitigate against the twin issues of climate change and resource, especially oil and energy depletion. We're now going up the southwest tower, at the top of which is a little trap door. We have to push that up and over our heads and to one side. The parapets up there are quite low, so uh, one just has to be a little bit careful. There we go. The easiest thing is to, I think, lift yourself up and sit on the roof. Lightning conductor, uh, yes. This is one of the clamps connecting the panels and the frame on which they're sitting to the roof. One of the things we've done just to try to make sure that there is absolutely no risk to the building is we've put these strips of sacrificial lead at the points where the clamps connect to the lead of the roof. So that there's no risk at all of damage to the building. Did the, uh, the installers have to bring the solar panels up this stairway? <laughs> Thankfully not, no. We worked with uh, a team of installers who actually also had a plant hire business, so they were able to use a scissor lift on the outside to carry things up. And we're standing on top of the bell frame, looking down onto the 12 bells that this church has. There aren't many churches in the country that have 12 bells, and this one's actually going to be the centre of a major bell ringing competition later on this year, simply because we have the requisite number of bells. So this really is a very special church, and if you can uh, fit PV here, there's no reason you couldn't fit it in many other churches. I think, like anything else, it has to be done intelligently. And uh, what we've done here is we've taken the community along with us, we've explained the reasons why, we've demonstrated that it will be an asset to this building and help the church community show that it's involved in the wider community and understands some of the big issues. We're now on the roof of the tower of Melbourne Parish Church, looking down on the 48 solar panels installed on the south aisles of the roofs of the church. My name is Sarah Spencer from Melbourne Area Transition and uh, the church project installing the 10 kilowatts on the Grade 1 uh, listed parish church has had a real knock-on effect with the wider community in installing um, or encouraging people to install solar panels, solar PV on their own houses and I think it's made it people realise that um, it can be done on any type of building These vents are new then, are they, Graham? 
Yes, they were put on because in the course of surveying the attachment points for the solar panels, it was discovered that the lead was actually in rather poor condition. This is the newest bit of lead on the church, perhaps only about 18 years old, but uh, it wasn't properly ventilated when it was installed. So these structures you see here are new ventilation points to protect that lead. And it's a problem that wouldn't have been known about until the church started leaking, had we not come up and been looking at it from a solar panel point of view.